All right, we're going to continue our little fun series here of drink this instead. So again, what we're doing is we're trying to find alternatives to allocated bottles, harder to find stuff, at least for most of us. And let's find other bottles that are very comparable in either recipe, taste, proofs, different things like that, that are a good representation of what that bottle may be, should you not be able to find it. So this week we're going to go Blanton's, good old single barrel Blanton's. And um, this again, a very polarizing bottle because a lot of you guys can find this, um, but most of us can't as well. So um, Blanton's, I used to buy this all the time. It was on the shelves for 30, 40 bucks, you know, 10 years ago. And had I known, I would have just bought a bunch more, but either way, Blanton's is kind of polarizing too, in a sense of it's a single barrel product. So there's some bottles of this that are exquisite and there's some bottles of this that are kind of a miss. It just sort of depends uh, because they're all single barrel. So um, probably depends on where they're at in the, in the rick house and different things like that. Cause they're all aged the same, but they're all aged similar, I should say. So. The bottle that I'm gonna go with, and by the way, before I do that, for all you dick nozzles out there that think I don't open all of this stuff, we just finished this off today, okay? So I do open everything, but a majority of the stuff that you see, the Van Winkles that were behind us, all that stuff, we've got tens of thousands of dollars up for grabs. The bottles, we're not gonna open those. Those are for you, link in our bio. Shameless plug. The bottle I'm gonna go with that's most similar to this, that's on the cheaper scale that everyone can find, Elijah Craig small batch. Why? Um, I think they have a similar mash bill. So Buffalo Trace doesn't disclose their mash bills um, or the recipe to them, but I think a lot of people have picked them apart and had it, sort of have it in a range that they think. So they think that this is, a, I think this is a mash bill number two. Um, it's kind of a high rye mash bill, which I don't really understand that because everyone thinks that it's somewhere in that 10 to 12% rye range. And this bottle is a um, 93 proof, and I believe it's a five to six or a six to seven year age statement. Uh, I'll verify that on the graphics here. Um, Elijah Craig, same sort of age statement or age range, 94 proof. This one, had to write this down, 78% corn, 10% rye, so kind of in that same range. 12% malted barley. So process of elimination makes these very close. This, I actually can get it for like 22 bucks. Okay, so I and it's in every liquor store around us. I've always said this is one of my favorite bottles. I always have this on hand as a sort of daily drinker, if you will. So these are always at my house. I love this bottle. Blind taste it against anything and watch people struggle. So I think this is a perfect representation of a good version of what this is. So if you haven't had this, I'm sure most of you have. Um, and even if you have both of these bottles, do a quick little side-by-side -side comparison. They're very similar, believe it or not. So Elijah Craig small batch, good substitute for the Blanton's single barrel. That's this week's episode. Um, we're gonna look into some more and come at you with one of these every single week again. Link in our bio if you want to learn a little bit more about what some of these bottles are here. And we'll go from there. So hope you guys have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Cheers.